What's going on guys? My name is Garrett here on the Jobless Gamers and today we're doing episode 7 of the Squadcast and I'm here with Mr. Boss for the win. Hello. The Saints fan. What is up? And today guys we're going to be discussing all the new DLC stuff. But before we jump into it, I want to explain really quickly that the Squadcast is a weekly podcast that we do every Saturday discussing gaming news, gaming events, and anything dealing with GTA 5 and GTA Online. So with all that said, who wants to take this just... Just dive into DLC stuff first. Um, I guess I'll start. This is like this is clearly the biggest thing we've seen, right? Like in terms of like updates and the potential. For yeah, sure, without a doubt. No doubt, dude. But I also think I also think that we like need to look at how long they plan on like um, spreading this stuff out. Like I don't think they're gonna release all this at once. I think they're gonna release this like every two weeks, like a feature every two weeks, because they said that stuff would be coming over the spring. Well, and what they, exactly the I mean the big things they have is just what the high life update and the heist. That's that's really only two things, right? Those are yeah, yeah those are the big and things. And there's like a capture creator and, Well the capture is uh, coming out next or yeah, next I guess in a couple of days when people see this. But like I, I think that the high life update's probably coming later this month, but I think the big thing heist and at least now we know a, a generalized date is gonna be most probably when Watch Dogs comes out. Yeah, so just because to to fight watchdogs more or less, you know. I don't know. Okay, so we know for sure that April eighth is the capture creator that is coming out April eighth. If you guys were to guess when the high life update was to come out, would you assume it's April twenty second? I would say two weeks later. Well, twenty second is that's two days after Easter, so maybe the week after. Because I don't know if like oh they might have they're gonna they have, have an Easter they're gonna see, have an Easter. That's thing. what you, that's see that's what kind of throws it off. They said they're gonna do more holiday themed DLCs, and the Easter one would be pretty cool. But what are they since do for Easter, May though? is the last, I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, like an egg shaped car, <laughs> uh, something like that, <laughs> well, or no, like grenades that are eggs. What did they do for? Uh, that'd be pretty sweet. What did they do for? They didn't have a car for the uh, the Christmas one, right? See, it and it technically and wasn't the Christmas. That's why I think the Easter is difficult because I don't know if Rockstar has to Bro. stay away from religion because they yeah, they were able to get away with like the Christmas and snowy theme holiday. by calling it like the right? holiday theme. Yeah. You know what, Bunny Day Easter or you yeah. know, Bunny Day DLC. <laughs> That's what I said because I in my video today or a few days ago I talked about like the potential of holiday DLCs and I talked about the Fourth of July and I said that'd be kind of tough to call it the Fourth of July but maybe like stars and stripes. So yeah, they could do like the bunny. They'll probably give like a mask with bunny ears. I can imagine that. Uh, maybe like a I bunny outfit. A like, bunny suit. Yeah, yeah, like a bunny suit. Instead of shooting, um, what is? Uh, no, there's no eggs. You're not gonna shoot any eggs. Go rockets, bro. They shoot, like <laughs> big eggs. Exploding. Rabbits. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. So okay, so for sure next week on the eighth of April we'll have the the captive creator. Then somewhere between the twenty second and the twenty ninth of April we'll see the the high life update. And then for heists, where is that? Be, you know, this is May, this is what's what? interesting though. So Rockstar or and this is just going off somebody or what somebody told me on Twitter, but the spring for the UK actually goes into June, like midway into June. So, I mean, I know Rockstar is, what, they're based in Scotland or something? No, or no, somewhere? Sure, for sure. Aren't seasons universal? No, like they're, they're, every, they're well, different. Well, more or less, but, like, exact dates, you know, that's a little bit different. Yeah. But, so, I mean, they can sort of, uh, what is it, like, lie without lying by saying spring and then releasing them in June because technically that's UK spring. So you also got to think about that. But I think, I mean... It would just make more sense, right, if they released it around Watch Dogs, probably maybe a little bit before Watch Dogs. Maybe, I think yeah. They're I gonna know. they're gonna stretch that out so much. It's it's just like when you're in grade school and a teacher tells you to write like a three to five page paper, you're writing a three page paper. Like, oh, exactly. And yeah. the same thing with this. When they give you like a date, they're gonna give it to you at like the last possible date possible. That that was kind of confusing. The last day possible. Of that date, yeah, like somewhere yeah, of that. that. So like. For spring in the United States, it's March, April, May, but you're saying that in other parts of the country or other parts of the world, it's not. Um... I think somebody told me, like in the UK, it's like June 26th or 23rd. That spring technically ends, like that's the day it ends, and they could hold back and because what? That's June has E3, so maybe. No, there's no release... way. There's no that, way I don't think they they're would push holding it that far. Yeah, there's no way they're holding high still 
till June because I think that yeah, there'd be a huge uproar. Like, where the hell are heists? No, like, everyone's no. already like, where the hell are heists? But with, <laughs> if we wait till June for heists, and they'll be like, what? The fuck? They'll be super pissed. They'll be everybody will be in complete shambles. So that they won't. do So that. if they did release now, would you think? If they're going with this whole Watch Dogs thing, would they release it before Watch Dogs, the day of Watch Dogs, or like a couple days after Watch Dogs? Probably Watch right Dogs before. Watch Dogs comes out May 27th? Yeah. Yes. So I would think like Because would you think people 20th, would like... Man, May 20th. Leave? Do you think more people would leave and go play Watch Dogs or more people would come back and play GTA? That's the thing. That's what's kind of... I kinda... would do both, but the, I, I don't think I'm like a good Are we doing like a Watch Dogs versus... I would give you that another episode thing. of Watch Dogs versus GTA V, but I don't know. I think that's the same um, thought process we had for Titanfall. Yeah, you know. It's yeah, but come that out. was when we did, we didn't have a legit date. Like we didn't have a a date, a range, a period. Yeah. We don't have so now. We have a giant range. Yeah, we. It's hey, like but, it's like them saying, "All right, it's either gonna come out at the well, start Watch of 2014 Dogs. or the end of 2014, somewhere around there." Well, Watch Rockstar Dogs is the best at wording things. Yeah. To, uh, Watch Dogs is similar or more similar to GTA than Titanfall. And like a lot of the people who play GTA, you know, they'd probably be interested in, in, in Watch Dogs as well. So you got that whole thing. See, I don't know. It's such a. It's a toss you know. up. It's definitely a toss up. Yeah. So I don't know. But for sure, the High Life update. Um, I know that I don't really care about the capture creator. Do you guys have any? No, I don't really you know, use this that. Is what, this is what I'm going to. Uh, our hoping to see with the capture update comes patch 1.12 and then hopefully that includes like some of the features they talked about like the mental statistic the uh yeah that one's really cool i really the, love the that. the no collision option in races i was know goodness freaking <laughs> rock stars listening to us the calling lester to not get cops on you know granted it's probably not the greatest solution to cops but a lot of people were saying probably like five thousand dollars for like five minutes of not getting cops on you which is still a lot better than what it is now, especially it's if you're progress. That's for yeah. sure. It's exactly. a step in the right direction. But I don't. Everyone I saw a lot of people saying like when I told about the the whole capture creator coming, everyone was like, "Oh, great, a glitch creator," because that's like <laughs> what these creators cause. Like, allows people to make glitches or money farms or you know RP farms, things like that. So I don't know. Hopefully yeah. that yep. this capture creator isn't too buggy where people can exploit the hell out of it. I know it's gonna happen, but we'll see. We'll see yeah, in my, well, in my video, capture. everyone was, like, down about that the most. They're like, oh, everything's really cool, but it's like, oh, the capture Absolutely. creator, that's all right. Yeah. Like, well, nobody really plays capture. Like, No, I know I don't. You know, if anything, more people race, so that's well, why that's, that one's popular. That's why popular. every time that they do verified jobs, they release eight races, two death matches. Yeah. If you notice that, that's because everyone does races. That's why on, on my channel, I only do the race showcasing. I don't do death matches because, like, nobody plays it. I'm still waiting for the custom mission. I don't think that's creator. coming, man. Uh, really? That, you don't? I, it's gonna come, but they're gonna have to work on that so much, dude. Because like, they're people are gonna make missions where you walk two steps, kill one guy, <laughs> and then turn it in right next to you, like that. Yeah. So we would see how they would have to handle that. But I guess we just jump into the high life update right now, if you guys want. Like, what, <laughs> I just like the wording. What do you, what do you guys that, think like, about Rockstar the cars? Uses. They're really good at wording, so that's for really? sure. But. Oh, that's um, the what, what do you think about the cars? The cars. Uh, this has been a lot of... People, well, the entire community was basically about right about the whole leaks. Yeah, the leaks, well, the leaks not, are right. Not Except really. for the, 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 the sports car. because Well, no, because the, oh, the somebody sports. said they were all sports cars where one's still a supercar. Yeah. But I don't know. I've been, I've been browsing some forums and stuff, and a lot of people are outraged at the... I think it's the Zentorno, the red car, because... Yes. The Lamborghini. Like, the front of it just looks so bad. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Let me let me get a picture of that. I don't. I, I don't you you it, had, um you had shown me a picture okay, today of the CD. I right? see it. It's like the There's, entire bottom half of it is like this black grill. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It just looks weird. And, that might have been a modification that they did because you can see in the uh, you can see in the yellow car that like they put like a roll cage and stuff. So they may have modified it a little bit. Some people said that the like the model of it or something was not smooth. I don't know. There was a bunch of different issues with it uh the back i mean you can kind of see the back from the picture on the newswire i mean it looks pretty cool the the yellow car actually looks pretty sweet because they have another picture showing it from the side in your garage overall yeah, that's the uh, aston martin and those typically yeah. look pretty good i'm interested to see what the new bike is it's probably going to be another 
Well, it's um, called the Thrust, so I'm assuming it's a sports bike. Well, it's what made by Pegasi, right? uh, Dinka. Dinka or Dinka, yeah. and and they make a lot of the other sports bikes. So it's probably yeah, gonna be another sports. Makes, bike. They make sports cars, Dinka Jesta. Jester. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's gonna be a sports bike, probably 100. percent I think Dinka is Toyota. There's in, uh, there's three life. there's three cars. They have the supercar, the sports car, and then they have the well, uh, crossover, like the the, Bent, the Bentley uh, crossover. Okay, I think that one might like. Compared to the Alpha, I think that one might get a little bit more love. Like, the tr- the the difference, in my opinion, with the last cars, the or the last set of cars, and then these set of cars, is that the Turismo, like, people just fell in love with that, like, right as soon as they saw a picture. I, I don't think this red car here, the Zentorno, or even the Masacro, they're really going to be used that much. Well, I think, I, I, I think the Zentorno. additional garage space helps. That think... does help. That's true. That's true. But and it depends on know. how expensive it is too. If that if that uh if the Zintorno is like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars, forget it. No one's gonna buy that. <laughs> no, I mean the Turismo is still the best deal on sports cars. I'll buy it. Uh, oh, what? without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna buy cash cards again, give some away, and then freaking Bro, buy. Not only, dude, this is gonna be a tough one because not only do we have to get money to get oh, the we cars, get the we gotta get money apartment. to buy apartments. Yeah, I'm gonna like, buy yeah. the cheapest ten car Bro. garage, which is like, like two hundred grand. See, that's the thing. There's only one 10 car garage, and that's by the airport. Where in like Blaine County or in Polito Bay could they even add another 10 car garage or another like high end apartment? That's what kind of. Now the only thing that's the kind of that kind of set me off on this is the fact that they, they did a lot of cool new things. Like they say they're adding new apartments and garages, but I want to buy the houses and the trailer parks and mm-hmm. like other other. Th- I don't want to buy apartments. I want to buy like actual homes and like live up in Blaine County. So that's I, the only thing I'm kind of disappointed in. Like they I said mention? in the past, man, this is all coming. I, mean, I guarantee you we'll have, like, apartment packs or, like, a house DLC. Like, Well, I think packs. this is the first step towards that yeah. because they only mentioned high-end apartments, I think, in the uh, in the newswire. Like, more high-end options. So that's probably going to be in the city. And maybe I was uh, reading this somewhere. It'd be interesting. There's a lot of construction going on in the game. And maybe if one of these updates can, like, make that construction an actual building. That would you know? be so cool. I know which one you're talking about, too, that giant one in yeah. the middle of the city. Yeah, yeah well, and not, not even that. They could, like, start adding construction sites maybe in Polito Bay or in Sandy Sh- Shores or something, you know? Like an ever-evolving world within GTA Online. Yeah, that's what I thought. Have. That's what I thought was the case. Like, back in, like, 2012, because the very first trailer showed that construction building. And I'm mm-hmm. like, dude, that would be so sweet as, like, as the game went on, the building would, like, evolve. But We'll see. One thing, though... That somebody mentioned was that that building you're talking about specifically, it's in a lot of missions. So then it would conflict with the missions. Just shut That's the mission off for GT Online. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying. I mean, I would love it, and I think it would add a lot to the game because then they they have literally endless possibilities, you know. So I would yeah, like they have to like see a ton it. of things know. they can do. It's crazy. That's that's the thing. Like they have a lot of things they can do, but the time and and manpower is going to tell you to do all this stuff. It's just going to take time. Let's just do all these things that we want in the game. We'll take time, and that's all we can give them. If we want to just support this game 100%, we can only give Rockstar time to make the things happen that we want to happen because eventually they'll do what we ask. Two-car garages, here they are. Cop-free mode, here it is. Like I mean, like it's this. clear they're listening because like they say in under their heist thing, it says, we know that many in the Grand Theft Auto Online community have been looking forward to this update. Well, no duh, but yeah, it's clear that <laughs> it, it's clear that they listen because they – um one of the past news wires, they actually like listened to our squad cast because they said like, you know, the groups like Garrett, Austin and Ross, they talked about, um, you know, why they thought the business DLC was the best. So they didn't just like see it. They actually like kind of listened to our squad cast. So they definitely like snoop hi, around Rockstar. Reddit and YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> hi, if you're listening. But yeah, I, see, think, one thing... I think it's crazy that they actually listen to us, even even with the stunting community. They listened to the whole Quibble Cop and how he made that video and was like, look, I really want stunting back in GTA Online. And here you go. It's coming in patch 1.12. Um, we're going to have stunting back how it was before. So it's pretty cool. Well, and I think another thing that's like, not I don't want to say it's overlooked, but since, you know, heist was like the big thing. One thing that Rockstar said was that they're not going to be patching glitches that aren't, uh, game, like, 
if it's not a game breaking glitch, they're not going to patch it, you know. So that's that's really awesome. Like all the the gate glitches, and and you know maybe even they might bring back North Yankton. I don't I don't know how that would work, but that would be awesome if we could go back there and you know just do skits or or whatever, you know. That'd be really cool. But yeah, I think I, that's I like the that's fact something. that they don't remove those. Like, that they uh, they realize people are having fun and they're letting us have fun. So well, I mean that's guys, that's so one of the sorry. reasons why like and the game has come to a point where like. Those glitches make the game fun. And mm -hmm. that's why people that everyone knows of, like Vanos, that make these funny moments. I think for a while now, the past few days, I don't, well, this is on Saturday, but maybe the past few weeks, people have been complaining because he's not uploading GTA 5 videos as much. Well, the reason yeah. why is because the content is not there. It's really hard to make videos on a game where it's becoming stale, where you've done everything you can possibly do. So even when it comes to news, I mean, like all of us, we all do news. But when there's no news, like, we have to resort to either putting out, like, uh, some other type of video that will also feed your Perfect. desire. <laughs> yeah, this is like a public service announcement. Like, leave a comment down below on whatever video you're watching. Did you like our prepping for heist video? Because it looks like heist or maybe uh, we're, we're all under the assumption, would you say, like, a month, month and a half out? Yeah. yeah, more or less. So, would you want to see like more of our heist preparation videos? Because I know I got a really good response. I don't know about the two of you. Yeah, everyone loved it. Everyone thought it was cool. Everyone's like, "Oh, that's cool." Some people yeah. were saying that this was a straight copy from other people. I was like, "What the heck? We just decided to do this one day." But overall, I had a great time doing it, and I thought it was cool because it's something that we're just having a good time playing, and I think that's what it's all about—having a good time, enjoying yourself, and having you guys. I mean, experience it with us, so. Yeah, it's funny, though, because, like, we were just having fun, right? And then we put it on YouTube, and somebody's like, no, you can't have fun the way somebody else had fun. It's like, that's a good thing. <laughs> like, come on, the man. Fun, like, the, fun <laughs> the fun police. The fun uh, police. The fun police are going to show up at your door. But overall, you I think that heists will add, it's going to bring life back to GT Online. No uh, doubt, dude. For sure, without a doubt, that once heists are released, you'll see heists, You'll see GT Online back on front page of Twitch. You'll see and it. And then the again, next most day, searched. people will be complaining about Heist because they're either not getting enough money or something, dude. That, that's well, how it's going to so go. They're so vague. Dude. Rockstar's been so vague. Like they say, Heists are coming soon. Well, do you have any more details? No, you'll have to wait uh, more information soon. Yeah, and it's I don't like, want you guys yeah, thinking that, like, because we, we have spoken to Rockstar, because they follow us on Twitter, because all this stuff, like, they don't tell us anything before you guys. So. You know, we don't get any early access to news like some of these Call of Duty guys do for Call of Duty stuff. If they were to do that, that would be really cool. Like, if Rockstar could let us know of, of like, like if they could let us know of this past article, Newswire, and a, a day before, that would have been cool. Yeah, that, that would have been awesome. That would have been really cool, but I don't think they would ever do that. Well, we'll so, see. So, I want to talk about, um, they keep talking about story mode DLC. Like, at the very end, they mention, like, a very exciting story mode DLC and much more. Yeah. And, like, I just don't know what it's going to be about. We talked about it last week, but it's like, when do you think they're going to release that? Because that... it's like, I, I thought it was coming soon, and then we got well, hit with the spring update. Do you know, when when GTA 4 came out, how long did it take for, what is it, the Battle of the Gate Tony? So, uh, it was it, Lost it, in the Dam, and it took 10 the months to yeah. come out. Yeah, month it came seven? out uh, 10 months. Came out 10 months. Well, no, no, no. Right now, we're on month seven from GTA 5 release, right? Yeah, Is it seven months. Seven? Six so, and a half, something like that. So, I mean, June ish, July ish, that's probably, I mean, a good summer DLC. That'd be pretty cool, you know? It probably would be summer, and that's why. And if they are going to E3, they can even, you know, maybe tease some stuff at E3 as a little side thing. What if, what if the much um, more of that sentence, like very exciting story mode DLC and much more? Is PC? <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking. That's what, that's what somebody. You know, the speculation is crazy. That could be anything. It could be aliens. It could be PC. <laughs> we could just be like, oh, the much more means everything we've always wanted. <laughs> yeah, they're just gonna release everything at once. <laughs> but like, here you go. Holiday. So like in that sentence, it like, overall it says later this year, look for even more additions to Grand Theft Auto Online and Grand Theft Auto Five, including more holiday themed updates. And some very exciting story mode and DLC and much more. So, story mode DLC I'm looking forward to. Much more, no idea what it is. But I do want to see the holiday theme updates. I'm not sure what holidays they're going to be pinpointing or talking about there. But if it is Easter, then I don't. I think that's going to be offsetting when heist. What holidays out. are coming up? 
I mean, besides Easter, then you got what? Maybe July Fourth is that the Memorial next Day? They could, yeah, Memorial Day, and um, I don't know. There's so many random holidays that I don't Dude. know about, like Memorial that I find Day. out on Twitter just because they're trending. What would they do like a few Memorial days Day? ago, I think it was like National Pancake Day, and I like had <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Yeah, the other day was no. Nas- National Breast Dude. Day or something. Too. I saw it was they, National uh, Cleavage Day. Yeah, Cleavage Day. There you cleavage. Not that I was like watching or wear anything. No, you weren't. I was. Yeah. I made sure I wore my very <laughs> low cut shirts so everyone can see my cleavage. No, oh, but uh, yo, if they had like a a World War II plane for Memorial Ooh, Day, ooh, that'd be sweet. Like a uh, yeah, like a World War II style like fighter okay. jet. Dude, I don't know, man. Would Rockstar yo, do that? Rockstar, make that happen. Would, would they do yeah. that? It could happen. See, you never right, know. This is another thing that somebody um, – I was reading this about. I think it might have been in my comments or whatever. But is there a possible pattern going on here with the DLC? So I think the first one, it came out – I can't remember exactly. What was the was special not, vehicle no. it came out with? Uh, the beach bomb? Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that was a boat. It was a boat. Then it went – shoot, what was the next one? A boat. It was a plane. A plane. The, uh, now a bike. So the next one could might or might be like either a heli uh, or not a heli, a heli a, uh, or a submarine. I don't know. It was just something interesting. Like each different DLC came out with like a a new like a new three cars yeah. and then like a special. special. Yeah, I, I think there's a pattern to the way the DLCs or updates are also released too, though. Like I feel like I feel like you know when it's coming out. Like in terms of week wise, I feel like there's something there. Like the time between Beach Bum and then, like, the next DLC, like, each it's patch. It's every month. Well, like every month Beach has Bum was something. November. Yeah. And then they had the holiday. And then I don't know what January was, but I know February was Valentine's Day. In January. Yeah, and then March was business. And now we're in April. So, yeah, so then April is going to be Capture Creator and High Life. Yeah. And I, I hope, though, for the next update, like, I get, I love supercars and I love sports cars, but man, I want to see some, like, trucks. Like, some, yeah, you know, trucks, same here. Some classic cars. What about the, uh, what was it called? The Duke? The, what is it? Yeah, the like, Duke, the, the GTA Duke's 4 Hazard car. Yeah, yeah I don't like know what that. it's called, but man, I just want to see some, like, some cool classic or cool, like, show cars or something. I had said that in one of my videos that, like, I want to see more than just supers and sports. Even though I like the supers. I do like sports. I wish it had more, a more variety of faster sports cars because a lot of the sports cars are very slow. But I also want to see like trucks. I want to see motorcycles. I want to see sedans. I want to see like all the mix of all of them. So, yeah, and I I, I see where you're going because I I think some trucks and some off road cars and classic cars would be awesome. But then I think Rockstar sees the feedback of how people like. Didn't really like the Albany Alpha, and they were like, "Well, okay, well, yeah, obviously, we're not gonna do that anymore." It was ugly and slow. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's ugly and slow. <laughs> it's what it is. I mean, obviously, when you go out in Los Santos, just driving around, everybody either has a Turismo, an Adder, like it's always a supercar, you know, yeah. for the most part. So obviously, that that's like they're probably always gonna have a supercar in the DLCs, but you know, just just switch it up, you know, sometimes. I, don't I think, know. I think everybody deep. would love that. I think the majority of people, though, enjoy the supercars and sports cars. Most people didn't weren't even able to buy the Turismo because it was so expensive. And I know <laughs> some viewers that actually passed on the Turismo oh. and bought the Alpha just Dude. because it was better Dude. for the price and as well as the Dinka Jessa. Like, they just chose the Dinka Jessa because they couldn't afford the Turismo and they just hated the Alpha. So, yeah, Here's yeah. something that a lot of people kind of overlooked. What do you guys think about they're actually uh, – or enforcing like the people who went into DNS mode or lobbies and stuff and got their rank really high, they're actually cracking down on those guys and they're resetting them. That what do you is going to suck. I think it sucks. I'm because glad I didn't do that. Like, that that's sucks. like seventy. That's like you know two thirds of the community that like have easily, easily gone and gotten levels in there. I mean, hey, we we warned you guys, but hey, at the end of the day, you can only blame one person. We did, but dude, and that's that the person that that, ta- that the person that taught you how to do it. So go blame the people that, no. that taught you how to do the DNS stuff. Dude, like if they derank them all the way back down to zero, that's gonna be a lot of people that are not gonna be happy. I mean, I have kind of noticed that though. Like, I'm not a very high level. I think I'm like a 50 or 60, but I'm starting to notice that like I'm higher up there, and there's not as like many level like 200s and stuff like that. As compared to it was maybe like two or three months ago, so I do think they're cracking down, which is cool. Well, obviously, well, no, well, I don't know if they've been that. You might just gotten unluckier or yeah, lucky, it might be 
Really? Because well, because that's what they said, that, uh, and that's what a lot of people are like. Yeah, heist, and then they're like, oh, but I'm gonna get deranged. <laughs> I won't be able to do it. I'll be too part. low. But um, that's that's the thing, because we were saying, oh yeah, dude, for the money, uh, the money apocalypse, if you want to call it that. Like yeah, they're not gonna take away too much money. You know, they'll, they'll leave us with a couple hundred thousand. Dude, they left people with like two hundred thousand. I mean, like twenty thousand. You know, yeah, that was a if recession. that sometimes, and if they do that with the. Uh, with levels, because leveling up in this game is a pain. Like it is. I don't know. It's not the best nowadays. It's really bad. Like back in yeah. the day, you could do like rooftop rumble, and like uh, what was the other one? No. I don't know. The one like you could was, just you could just farm and glitch it. Yeah, but, I don't know, replay. man. That's because if a lot of people get deranked to a really low level, that's gonna push a lot of people away too. Because I don't think they want to grind through what GTA Online is. You know, again. Yeah. Even though they kind of didn't do it the first time, but I mean, we're gonna have to see, man. It's it's, it's literally in, up in the air with that. But do you want to j- like wrap up with everything we've covered overall? I'm really excited for Heist. I'm really excited for the the High Life update. Not too happy about the capture creator because like, it just doesn't affect me. But I'm really happy with the direction GTA Online is going. I think it's everything everyone has wanted these past few months. Um, they've been really listening to the community. Do you guys want to touch on any of those topics real quick before we wrap up and do what would you rather's? I mean, I can't really complain. It, it all of it looks cool. It's just about execution at this point. Yep. Yep. Are heists gonna be as good as they are hyped up to be? So that that's what it's gonna come down to. Yep. Only time will tell. So let's jump into a topic or a I guess a thing that we do here on the squad cast called Would You Rather? And Austin, you can go ahead and lead the way because I have no idea what you want to tell right. us. But it's basically so, a thing that you guys can leave in the comments. Just leave like W Y R. Wait, would you, well, yeah, would you not rather? even. I mean, listen. All right. So the example we gave last week, and it doesn't need to be a would rather. If you just want us to ask some like interesting, you know, thought provoking questions, I don't know. Just leave them in the comment section. Just leave a smart question. Leave us something down there. Don't ask stupid stuff. We got some really dumb stuff. Like, yeah, what was the on, one? Like, what was the one with no, the no sexual yeah, stuff? Yeah, we got a really like, weird one. But go ahead. Ask away. So uh, we had some thought, some good ones today. So the first one, and this one's a common one, but just to get everything going, would you rather have all the money in the world or all the time in the world? Ooh. Would I rather really have all the money I think in the that's world? really easy. I think that's really easy for me. Uh, is it? Yeah. I, yeah, I, I'm going to say all the uh, money. What? Oh, oh, I thought you were going to go all the, the time. Yeah, I thought you were going to say time because with the time you can make money. But if you have all the money, then you have no time because you can't buy time. I would go with all the time. See, but my but time isn't going to decrease. No, it's not. But if you – and here's the thing. If you go with all the time, you're going to have to go through all the bad parts. And if like so freaking wait, but an asteroid comes and kills – you got you to go so through So how long – would you rather have all the money in the world and how long does that last? Forever? Well, as long as I live. As long like, as you live. So I mean yeah. it's like 80. Oh, then know? what the heck? All the freaking Or if you get all the money, money maybe you can even like do some crazy stuff where like you live to like 150. I don't know. Yo, all the money straight away because it, it the longer we live, the more chances you have to extend your life. I mean, Steve Jobs See, wasn't able to. That, that is a, that is an interesting point though because I, I was going to say all the time in the world just because I would like to see like in the future what happens. But there ha- I, I forget where I saw this like – they're doing some, or they have some sort of thing where they can, like, like clone you, but like you still remember. I don't know. It's some weird stuff. Science, man. Yeah, Science. Dude, it's some weird stuff. That yeah. So I, I think. I remember are we all agreeing about. on money? So you know, money. I'm gonna go with all the money because if you have all the money, then you can know, time, buy stuff. Time seemed like a more better choice for that situation. Right when I thought about it, but whatever. I like money, so I guess we'll just Same be balling man. out with strippers. All right, next question, yeah. honest. Austin. All right, so and honest. this is the last. Yeah, I don't know. This is the last one we got. Uh, but would you rather know how or when you die, oh. or when you're going to die? Oh, so gosh. it's either you know how, like what's gonna happen. Wait, could you over? prevent it? No, I that that wouldn't so. be fair. Yeah, you know. I'm gonna go it. with I'm gonna go with how because if I know when, I'm gonna be paranoid. Yeah, that is true. Well, I, but if you know when, then you can just yeah, do you whatever can, you want you and count not down work. the days. If you just actually, that's a good point because if I if yeah, but that, that's kind of like rolling the see, dice. See, listen, if you know how, it's like all right. Well, I die. Like all right, so I die by drinking. Car cra- yeah, our car accident. It's yeah, like, that could be at any time. You're right, day, crap. You know, you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, I mean, let's have some like really crazy death, you know. But uh, I I don't know. 
All yeah. right, I want to know when. Suck, though. When? When for me? And by the way, guys, leave your comments to these answers down below, if you guys uh, answer yeah. them. But yeah, for me is when. What about yeah, you? Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna go with when as well. Although my luck would be like, you're gonna die tomorrow. It's like, thank you. <laughs> cool. Well, that was easy. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that is pretty much it. Actually, you guys want to talk about packs real quick? Because we'll be going to packs in like what five days from when they see this video. Oh dang, we should talk about the beginning of this video. But I'll make a separate video. Uh, well, we, can, we can make a. We can just touch on it, and then the next squad cast will be we're, about we're, packs. We're at packs, won't we be? At packs? Uh, yeah, we'll be at packs. But I mean, if we're gonna do one before, we can still put it up, right? Yeah, that works. All right. Um, go ahead. I guess. So, you well, you've already been to a, a packs, right? So you can let people know just what it is and and, and what we're gonna do there. Um, basically, packs is a convention for gamers. It's called Penny Arcade Expo. And what you do is you just go and you meet all these developers, and it's for the community. It's for all gamers. It's going to be see, in Boston as well. Yeah, it's at Boston. So. so you can see all these new games coming out. Um, you can talk to developers. You can see games. We'll be able to see Watch Dogs, and we'll be able to see different games that are coming out, whatever else is coming out. But um, pretty I cool. I know we're actually – aren't we getting a uh, – we're going to some sort of like booth or whatever. And if you're going to be there, I mean, hey, if, you, if you're going to be there, if come, you're gonna be come, going stop to, by and come meet us. If you're going to PAX, then let us know in the comments or even tweet at us because we'll have a fan meetup. Um, in packs, and then if people aren't able to go to packs and they live in Boston, you guys want to meet up, you guys are more than welcome to meet us in front of the convention center, I guess. But we're also working on a panel, right? Well, yeah, I, I, yeah, I emailed packs people to see if we get a panel. They forwarded me to the panel people, so we're seeing if we can get a panel, but I don't know if they're wait. I'm waiting to hear back, so no Good guarantees stuff. since it's around the corner, but we'll see. And uh, that's about it. We're it's all staying just, together. Pretty cool. Yeah, we'll have vlogs and stuff. On I'll, I'll yeah. maybe be making vlogs. I don't know about you guys, but. Yeah, I'll probably. have vlogs. We'll be all together, staying in one one bedroom, one bed. So, yep, <laughs> good for me. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching episode seven of. Oh wait up, wait up, wait up! Did uh, did you get your package from Rockstar, Garrett? Yeah, uh, I put out a Dude. video two days ago. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, people on my channel are already gonna see it because it'll be out a day after that. But uh, dude, I think I'm gonna bring some of the stickers to packs and uh, hand them out to people if I see them. So, if you want some cool. stickers, <laughs> yeah, BFX. Good effects. But thank you guys so much for watching episode seven of today's Squadcast or this week's Squadcast. Make sure you guys check back for next week's. Make sure you check out everyone's channel in the description and like this video if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys next week with another Squadcast. See ya. Later, guys. Peace.